You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And in this installment of Versus, we're looking at Ben Affleck versus Michael Keaton as Batman. If we believe there's even a 1% chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. For this list, we'll be looking at everything from performances to gadgets to see which actors gave us the best overall representation of the caped crusader. Which of these crime fighting heroes would you put the bat signal up for? Let us know in the comments down below. Round one, fight scenes. Michael Keaton's first fight scene as Batman set the stage for a darker, more terrifying vigilante superhero. His utter confidence is demonstrated by the swiftness of the takedown. It's over with a kick, a grab, and that iconic introduction. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. Keaton's knight easily dominates most opponents. However, a few average henchmen have given him troubles over the years. That partially might be because a few of his encounters are pure comedy. The humor is often amplified by sound effects, music, and lack of blood. For the most part, Keaton's fight scenes haven't historically felt dangerous, but he can definitely get serious when he needs to. Excuse me. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Affleck's Batman comes at his fights with the wisdom of experience. He thinks about his battles ahead of time and plans for eventualities. Before facing off with Superman, he takes the time to lay traps and consider every weakness. Breathe it in. That's fear. Due to his intelligence and good use of gadgets, Batman comes close to doing the impossible and slaying Superman. The hero also takes down a room filled with opponents with brutal efficiency. He gives and takes multiple hits, and there's plenty of blood and broken bones. And just to prove that Batflex's fight against the alien Superman wasn't a fluke, he takes down tons of parademons later on. While this Batman is not super powered, he is really good at his job. I'll kill her! Believe me, I'll do it! Both Keaton and Affleck make us root for Batman when they combat enemies. However, the higher stakes and bigger achievements of Affleck's fight push him into the win for this round. Tell me. Do you bleed? Winner, Keaton 0, Affleck 1. Round 2, Civilian Identities. The turmoil that's within Batman is present in the actor's portrayal of Bruce Wayne as well. His casual billionaire playboy has the veneer of civility as he holds dinner parties or attend events. Hi, Bruce Wayne. Are you sure? Yeah, this time. However, the mask he wears feels brittle. Whenever it slips, we see a truly damaged and vulnerable person still recovering from a great tragedy. Upon a closer look, you realize his movements are too controlled and his calm is that of a man barely holding himself in check. Keaton's Bruce manages to hide his darkness behind charm and pure quirkiness. But when we're not smiling at his antics, we're remembering how torn up he truly is. We're the same. We're the same. Split. Break down the center. There is a sense of bone weariness to Ben Affleck's older Bruce Wayne. In his first film, he's constantly brooding, drinking too much, and seems to struggle to approach each day. Even Alfred recognizes that some of his fire is gone. 20 years in Gotham, Alfred. We've seen what promises are worth. How many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? Having to play the suave billionaire seems to annoy him. Whenever he has to pretend, we can feel his loathing for the role brimming underneath the casual smile. It's easy to see this alter ego as the natural result of years of crime fighting and maybe a little self-actualization. Affleck's Wayne mellows out a little more when he starts playing with others. However, it's clear that he's still Batman first and Bruce Wayne second. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Although we appreciate the world weary Wayne, there's a charm and vulnerability to Keaton's playboy that makes his billionaire feel more fun and more fascinating to unpack. I guess I'm tired of wearing masks. Me too. Winner, Keaton won, Affleck won. Round.
on three, Intimidation Factor. There's something about the way Michael Keaton's Batman descends onto the scene that strikes terror into the hearts of criminals. It could be the swoop of his wings or the silent descent behind them. He's a dark and dangerous presence. Ironically, when he gets down to business, he's more likely to knock an opponent down or hang him from a beam that beat him senseless. But there are a few occasions where he gets deadly. Although Keaton's face strikes fear in the heart of lawbreakers, at times a quirky humor leaks through. Every time we hear a cutting comment or see him crack a wry smile in the suit, we see his lighter side. I haven't been fed all day. Eat floor. <laughs> High fiber. Ben Affleck's Batman always takes his job seriously. He's seen too much death and destruction to constantly crack jokes when he's in the suit. And no, we're not counting his quips in 2017's Justice League. When you look back at Affleck's first full scene as Batman, he hangs in the corner like a monster from a horror movie and branded the criminal he captured. He terrifies the people he rescued, the villains, and the police. I saw him. I never saw him before. Affleck's Batman is so notorious in the world that anyone who gets his symbol is essentially marked for death. Before the Dark Knight allies with other heroes, he definitely prefers to be feared than loved. Whatever you do, wherever you go, I'm watching you. While both Batman are scary, we're much more terrified at the thought of what Affleck's Dark Knight would do to us if he was angry we would not want to meet him in a shadowy Gotham alley. Be very careful with the next thing you say. Winner, Keaton 1, Affleck 2. Round 4, Batgear. Hold on. While Batman has always had great taste and design sensibilities, Keaton's collection had an extra cool vibe. He pioneered a dark, edgy live action suit that provided protection and camouflage before it became the norm. And in his second film, it even came complete with glider wings. Keaton's Batman had tons of useful gadgets. From his batarang that could pinpoint enemies to his multiple ways to grapple, he was ready for most confrontations. We also have to take a moment to discuss that iconic car. Get the car. What? It was loaded with a navigation computer, voice command, full armor, and a plethora of weapons. The slim design and long body also made it stand out from other vehicles. After appearing in the films, many other stories tried to capture that legendary design. Affleck's Batmobile was the tank we wish we had. was full of weapons that could take out human or alien enemies without issue. And when this Batman wasn't in his car, he had other large vehicles made for specific scenarios. Celebrate later off and I need the Nightcrawler. Thought you'd never ask. Crawler's on the way, initiating remote mode. He and Alfred also made some great upgrades to his suits and gadgets. The suit that he used to fight Superman was heavily armored and gave him a fighting chance against the Kryptonian. Additionally, Affleck's Batman also forged kryptonite weapons that damaged the Boy Scout and helped doom Doomsday. We also have to applaud the addition of a voice changer so that he didn't damage his throat with gruff vocals. This versatile bat gear made him ready for nearly anyone and anything that challenged him. There's no question that Affleck's equipment and vehicles are very useful. However, we think Keaton deserves credit for introducing design concepts that will become franchise staples. Everything from his suit to gadgets continue to influence that franchise. I spent a lifetime trying to right the wrongs of the past, as if fighting crime would bring my parents back. Winner, Keaton 2, Affleck 2. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Round five, performances. Made mistakes. 
And then he had us. There's lights out! Now you wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. Keaton always got to flex his comedic and dramatic muscles while playing the caped crusader. In the lighter scenes, the twinkle in his eye and perfect timing made us laugh out loud but he could just as easily bring tears to our own eyes. Keaton also made sure each persona had distinct characteristics. You know, this house and all this stuff really doesn't seem like you at all. Some of it is very much me. Some of it isn't. While his Bruce Wayne always carried a frenetic energy that pulled you in, his Batman put up walls that kept you out. The true magic of Keaton's portrayal was that it always felt like he was reaching out to others while wearing either mask. He gave us hope that Bruce Wayne could heal. And over 30 years after his first appearance, fans went nuts when they heard he was returning to the screen. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. When Zack Snyder needed his Batman to feel like a weary veteran, Affleck definitely answered the call. My parents taught me a different lesson. Dying in the gutter for no reason at all. Even in his brightest scenes, there's a tinge of sadness underneath his performance. We can feel a deep sense of loss and tragedy radiating from him. Despite carrying so much darkness, Affleck also convinced us that this Batman hasn't lost his heroic nature either. He runs towards destruction while everyone goes the other way. And watching him slowly regain his hope and faith in humanity made for a fascinating journey. While Affleck's Batman still has room to change, he's made big steps forward from where he started. He grew on viewers that learned to accept a darker Batman. Your guilt's overcome your reason. Not all the king's horses, nor all the king's men. But Alfred, for once, I'm operating strictly on faith, not on reason. Watching Affleck's grim Dark Knight evolve has been fascinating. However, there's something about Keaton's charismatic and multifaceted performance that still resonates with us. The fact that he was brought back to a franchise after three decades is further proof that he's beloved. You're strapped to your parachutes. It wins yours! <laughs> Winner! Keaton 3, Affleck 2. Although it was an epic fight, Keaton swoops in at the last minute to take this victory from Affleck as the resounding bat winner. You're, you are. Yeah, I'm Batman. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.